So the ecological value, valuable <coughs> is the root, is the renewable, resource efficient and climate friendly. That's for us the reason why we use wood for our boards. It's not like uh, the PU industry or APS, um, which are using in the first step oil. We have really a natural um, resource with wood. It's available um, in our area, of course. We use all, all the wood we use in our factory. We get a uh, little bit in a uh, round of 150 kilometers around the factory. So uh, the most of the wood we use is 100% uh, black forest wood. So that's for us important that we don't have too much gray energy in our boards. <clears throat> we have, uh, for the building sites, of course, we have uh, physics advantages because one part is the diffusion openness, which is uh, a really important part, especially for refurbishment in, in roofs, but also in building of new building sites for better climate inside. And uh, another big reason is that our products are 200% recyclable. So uh, there are different ways to recycle our boards. On one part, you can uh, dispose it in wooden containers as untreated wood. There's a special certification for this. The sheets can also be burned um, in bigger um, heatness capacities. And we have a really high caloric value. And also the, the sheets can be composted. We have a special certification. We have a special approval for this. So, uh, but don't worry, they don't compost if they are <laughs> installed. Yeah. You have to uh, do that in a very fine way to compose it. But uh, then it is possible and we have uh, no uh, influence to the environment. We are using high quality spruce and fir. This is uh, wood we have in Black Forest. Um, um, the most of this is fir. We are getting um, our resources in forms of, of chips in the most way. So it's nearby 70% in different qualities. Uh, mostly for the, the paper industry is our uh, player on this market. And uh, we use it with and without bark. Uh, but the mostly we use without the bark. You can see here a completely tree. So the bark is normally uh, removed. Um, and then we get our chips mostly from the sawmills industry, which we have in Black Forest. So they use the main wood for um, their lumber, which they like to produce. And uh, for us are these sheets on the side of the trees. This is, uh, this is the part which we um, get in chips. So it's a rest of the production for the sawmills. So we don't uh, use really high quality new um, lumbers for our um, production. We need the rest which they don't need. A little part we uh, um, also buy logwood. Um, we have now since uh, three years a special um, production line for our own chips because uh, sometimes there are smaller um, parts of the trees which the, the sawmills can't use and for us it's uh, good enough to uh, produce their chips of this and um, then uh, wood fiber boards. Um, so uh, we have the sources for our uh, material sawmills or uh, the forest trees. Here you can see the, the production process. Um, the one part, it's, this is the older part, which um, with this part we started nearby in 1932. It's uh, the wet process called. Um, we started here um, with chips and then the chips are, um, are getting cooked in a, a big tube with uh, heatness and uh, moisture. And then um, we put the, the wet chips to the refiner and then they get milled. Uh, milled. And uh, so we have small wet fibers for our wet production line. And uh, these fibers are getting mixed in big tubes where we have 96% uh, of water inside. So it's called wet process. So we have um, in, in these um, tubes, uh, the fibers getting cooked for a longer time. And so on the ingredients of wood, like lignin, it's a natural binder in the wood fiber, um, is cooked out and uh, is also a binder for our products uh, in the later part. But we special need uh, um, an additional um, binder for our boards in the later part. 
So when they get cooked here for a longer time, then they go to their um, production line. It's uh, like the paper industry you can um, see. We have a, a big uh, <clears throat> big production line where the fiber is swamped um, on top and then the most of water um, flew down. And then we have a mechanical press which press the boards to the right thickness and then the, the wet fiber boards getting dried in a big dryer. And that's a big disadvantage for this production line because we have a lot of energy here to dry the boards. It's like a big oven. You can uh, cook your pizza. It's the same way, um, I would say, but it's, it's really long. It's uh, 96 meters, which is completely heated. And this is a lot of energy to, uh, to use. And this is one of the reasons why we changed in 2004 to another uh, production line in the dry process line. When the boards are dried, they are getting uh, sawing and then they get packaged to, uh, to the logs. For the wet process, we can all only produce uh, boards from four millimeters up to maximum 25 millimeters. And if we like to have then uh, bigger boards, we have to use uh, different glued sheets for the boards. Um, you can see us here in, in a sample. <clears throat> this is such a, a wet process board. You can see always in the darker colored. And if we need thicker boards, we have different layers of these uh, 20 millimeter sheets boards. You can take a look. We have densities from 160 kilos per cubic meters up to 270 cubic. Um, for the stability, we need minimum the 160 millimeter densities in the wet process. And the capacity of such a uh, wet process line is three tons per hour, three tons fiber. So these boards are diffused and open with a mu value of five. So we have with this product in the beginning, beginning um, of the wood fiber installing a really good diffusion open material for constructions. <clears throat> 